Hello friends, I'm glad to welcome you to the Captain German channel, where we continue our series about French Polynesia, where we spent three months and visited absolutely everything. Today we'll talk about Murea. It's our favorite little island, which is located 15 nautical miles from Tahiti. Just a reminder, our videos are not in chronological order. It's because our hard drive crashed and uh, for about 500 US dollars we had it restored in New Zealand so now we can finally post videos from the recovered edited footage. But uh, let's return to Morea. Entering the bay is very simple. You just go along the entire island enjoying the beautiful views and when you see the macchia you need you just uh, turn on the port side or the left side and enter directly into the bay the anchorage here is quite tricky because all the good spots are in shallow areas they are occupied by resident boats or rather not even resident ones but those that have been here for a long time because there are so many people here. Who's here? <laughs> there they are. They're just standing here. Are you happy? Totally. Look who's right next to us. Uh... These are our friends from Lincoln Bay. What a beautiful anchor here. We are standing at 7 meters. The bottom is visible here. The people with the masks are right next to us. Yes, and anchoring here, it's shallow, like about 2 meters. The bottom is very clear. And there are boats. It's really beautiful here. Every time we come to park, if possible, I dive in and check how our anchor sits, how our chain lies, and also to see what's underwater. Anchoring here is on a sandy bottom at about 7 to 10 meters. So anchoring uh, from the point of position is perfect, very good old. Now it's time to go 
shopping. The store is in the next bay, about five kilometers, maybe two miles on the dinghy. And there's a tricky passage through the coral reef. So we'll have to navigate that now. Just to give you a heads up, the trip to the supermarket is more like nearly four miles. Not two, so it's really quite a distance to cover on the dinghy due to the channel, which is I Ibuaito, located on the way to the supermarket. It passes over a lot of shallow coral heads, which means you can easily bump the dinghy motor um, on them. Where we're going now, the depth between us and the reefs is probably about 20 centimeters and uh, it's really not easy to travel but we need to stick to the channel. In the store we were pleasantly surprised because the prices here are much better than in Tuamotu or Marquesas. It's relatively humane, even for beer. Almost $19 for a six-pack, so booze is expensive here. But the other products in the supermarket are more or less affordable. To understand the prices, you just divide by 100 to get the price in dollars. And so we've stocked up on groceries, a whole cart full, and finally we can afford to relax. In short, we bought uh, food. Ended up spending greedily about $380, but there really is a lot of food and we've already got wine, bought ourselves uh, various hams. Well, that's already reasonable. They also sell tuna here. Half a kilo costs about $5, right? Well, generally, the prices here are reasonable. You can eat normally and beer costs around two and a half dollars a can, not five or eight in the store. So basically there are somewhat normal prices in the region now. I am preparing food for the fish. Fish are going to eat fish, uh, babies.
We decided to head out to the shore today, meet up with friends and have a drink here. Ruma is here at sunset, it's now sunset time and there is our boat, the very first one. And that's how everyone shows off their dinghy. Everything here is very civilized. Beautiful roads, uh, smooth by the way, with excellent pavement. There are boats among the palm trees. So, shall we relax today like civilized people by the shore? Where's your drink, Dina? Waiting for me on the right. table. I was told not to shoot myself too close with the camera. But it seems to me I'm not filming myself too closely. Because you need to keep a distance from the viewers. Still, I think this distance is quite perfect. What do you think? Am I too close? It's fine. We decided to go to the lookout point, which is nearby, well kind of nearby. We checked the map and it looks pretty easy to get to. We asked our friends from the boat Rafiki, an elderly couple, what? and they told us it would be super easy to walk there. So up we go. Why all this extra weight and hysteria? We'll go down later and finish drinking all of it anyway. So we looked, well, uh, an elderly couple. 
they probably don't have a lot of strength, but it turned out that they are such seasoned tourists and this climb was just a light stroll for them, which can't be said about us after spending a long time offshore. We were totally shocked climbing up here because the ascent is really tough. Like at first you just have to walk and at quite a steep angle. But then you just climb over all the rocks and over all the stones. It, uh, you know, sometimes you manage to rest uh, when there's a flat section. But otherwise, it's really just terrible because the incline is very steep. Uh, it rained, everything is wet, everything is slippery. And when you're already climbing up, the angle increases. And in many places, you really have to crawl, grabbing onto the rope, because there's no longer a way to just climb. And there's no foothold for your feet. And these ropes, who knows who attached them, if they're secure at the top or not. But we checked to make sure everything was okay once we got to the top. But there were a few places that were really creepy, because the ropes were almost worn out. And this could be a problem in the future. Wake up! And then it goes through the trees, it's strange, it keeps in, uh, it's not really high here. But usually at this elevation there are no trees, it starts getting bushy. But here there are huge trees, big ones. But at least it's a beautiful view. The rain caught us at the top of the mountain. Nowhere to hide from, it. it's just such a mess. Well, at least it's beautiful. So, Dina, tell me, are you tired? Yes, I'll tell you, I'm very tired. I mean... Come on, are you nervous? Did you film the last stretch of the path? <laughs> That's censored. <laughs> Hiking went well. <laughs> now I know what it's like, I didn't know before. Are you no, a cartoon well, fan? Maybe I would have gone. But I surely didn't have a couple of beers beforehand. I would have taken some water with me. I wouldn't have had a beer if I knew there was such a steep climb here. I definitely would have done it sober. But today I had a beer in the morning, had a beer in the afternoon, and then... <laughs> Spit my liver out during the climb. I don't have liver issues. My blood pressure started rising. I just had to sit down every 100 meters or maybe even 50. Honestly. Well, if I were you, I wouldn't complain because having some pressure is much better than having no pressure at all, so everything is fine. <laughs> you are such an optimist. You always charge with positivity. French-like, like a piano. Like yoga. <laughs> I'm already tired and want to be held. Don't you want to go down? See, like this. Step, step, step to the boat. <laughs> Wait. Was this rope always here? Cat, watch your step. I don't think I climbed up this way before. I don't remember this. <laughs> Chili patriots in the bushes. What are those flowers? You gave me a fragrant one and two French panties. Yeah, Penny, Frankie Penny. Watch your step. I can't. How do you like this event? Tell me, please. I liked it. I didn't go wrong with the sneakers, but I did go wrong by not bringing any water. Dutch beauties, the view is beautiful. Overall, I liked it. It's quite a challenge. Sometimes it's worth setting challenges for yourself like the French way, or challenges, it's okay. Your challenge! <laughs> it's really a bit hard to recover, we're just not used to it. It's been a long time since we walked. You just sit on a boat, mostly sedentary, a muscles atrophy, so such hikes are really useful. Plus, it's very beautiful out there. Cotton gold. Lopot. Look. Tomokato. Fotonset. 
Bavolna. We were at that peak. It's yay. Or how about here? Do you like it foggy like that? Guys, how you da so do you like Morea? We really enjoyed it. Uh, it's uh, probably one of our favorite uh, islands uh, in uh, French Polynesia, and uh, to be precise, in the Society Islands, whose capital is uh, Tahiti. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, check the bell, and definitely leave a comment. Up next, we have Rayatea and Taha. Interesting islands. In the Society Islands, we will show you all of them because the place is remarkable. So, see you in the next episode. Bye! <laughs>